Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Seth Panako has been the UDA vice chair, but surprising from nowhere, he just decided to resign from UDA party because of certain reason. So today he was attending a barrel service in Kakamega uh, for the former politician by the name Joseph Hamisi. And uh, when he got a, ch a chance to address the mourners, this is exactly what he said. Let me just quote him. I talked to the president at 7 p.m. and it seems that I could not continue with my role given my, my opposition to the housing fund and the highest cost of living. Therefore, on behalf of my late friend Hamisi, I want to announce that I have resigned from my position at UDA. I have decided to stick with Kenyans because during the campaign we used to say kazi ni kazi pesa mfukoni. Now they are saying kazi ni kazi pesa kwa serikali. <laughs> but then, uh, at one point, when Seth Panako was on an interview at uh, K24, this is what he said, eh? the government must be creative enough to have the resources to do this housing project. Why can't they use the fund that are already available to do this? This housing project is cheap. He say the government should use their own resource to do house funding. He don't see the reason why the government is coming to tax Kenyans to do the house fund. They say, oh, this one is not a tax. It's just a, it's like a, it's a house slave you are giving. And at the end of the day, you will you can reclaim your money after seven years. You check on Hinga how he's explaining this thing. It brings a problem. Now we are continuing the budget discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the returning return subscribers. I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, people of goodwill with a good mind, they will do exactly what Seth Panako is doing. Indeed, Ruto was promising heaven and we are all aware that he has delivered hell. Kenyans are suffering more than they have never suffered in this country in the hands of one William Samway Ruto. You would see him, instead of sorting out the problem, he is using a shaka to shift that problem to Uru Kenyatta and the handshake. Something that now Kenyans have refused to buy into. So Panyako is not just an ordinary person. We are talking about the Secretary General of the Kenyan Union of Nurses. Who in your SG? Wahuduma wote wa wagonjwa, eh? Wauguzi. Wauguzi wa wagonjwa wote Kenya hii. All nurses in Kenya who are in that umbrella are under Seth Panako. So you see, for William Ruto choosing Seth Panako as the UDA vice chair, it means he knew this is a man who is commanding uh, a massive support across the country. Because for you to come uh, an SG or to form, a, to form a union like this one, then you get the voice of the people, people join in and they support your idea, they believe in you, they, they subscribe to what you are, um, uh, what, the, what you are pushing for, they see you as their defender and their leader, then Ruto had a reason to use him to reach out to nurses and other people in this country. So for him, he was presenting the voice of nurses in William Ruto's government. And of course, from the beginning, you can understand, it is not the first time he's coming out to defend workers and put the government on a question. At first place, he said that the government must increase salaries for nurses. And he threatened to call for mass action. Now, in most hospitals, nurses are not working. Why? They have not been paid. To add salt to the injury, house 
Levi. For Panako is not confused with this issue of housing. Unlike France and Tuoli, who is buying this fake idea? Sijia so, Tuoli yako na muna gani. Tuoli ya nasema na support mamba ya housing. Lakini ya waelezi wa Kenya ni jagani watapata pesa zao kama you are not, not in need of house. Again, this thing of house, Tuoli should be telling William Ruto it should be willing people to go into this program. Kuna watu wamejenga nyumba zao, wana haja ya nyumba. Kuna wale wana, wana wako comfortable to, eat, to, to, to stay in their own village. Kuna wale wamenunua mashamba wakajenga kwengine. How do you want to force them again to take them to other places where you think they should be staying? It should be voluntary. But because Ruta has refused this, Panakoi is saying, no, I rather stick with the workers, but not you. Because this government will come and go, but workers will continue to be there. So he has made a decision to distance himself from <laughs> William Samuel Ruto's regime by just resigning. Because how do you continue to be in a government that promise on how workers will enjoy working in this government, but at the end of the day, workers are the most oppressed people in William Ruto's government. Sasa hiyo itabaki ni kazigani ukonayo. So hapa saiza tawata wameanza kuzioleza, uya tuwali, ni kazigana nafani ya squeeze. <laughs> ni kazigana nafani. Ya mebae kuwa raba stampa ya serakali. Panako is saying, no, we will not go into that trajectory. I will not support your ideas. I am out. I rather stand with the workers. And indeed, if workers will not have leaders who will lead them, in rejecting some of the proposals that Ruto is putting in the financial bill, then they, they should prepare to suffer the most. So Panakos' decision to, re to resign means he's preparing to take on the government head on. If it will mean calling for mass action, he's ready to do so. If it means going for lawyers to go and defend nurses through the court, he will do so. That means you have declared the war against the government. And that should be the position of these people. When they are leading such an organization, that's your work. Your work is not to be in bed with the government. Your work is to be in defense of the people you are leading. Speak for them. If things are working well and good, if not, then use all available tools to make sure that workers' voice is heard. So he cannot do this when he's still uh, busy in, Jubilee pol in UDA politics. So you cannot be inside and you are fighting the same government. You rather do it from outside. That is a decision he has made. Yeah. But, you know, Ruto, he would never let, it, let someone like Justin Panako to go when he knows very well this is a person who is leading an organization. Someone will say, oh, I was told to resign. It could be possible. But again, how do you let such a person to go? A man who is leading workers in this country. You need that person even in the next election. You need him. So there is a way you can coerce him or talk to him. But this one is saying, no, I'm not with you. I'd rather be with the workers. That's what happened to the Serikali Aruto in Metufikisha. Ni vizuri watu wafunguke macho yao mapema waona ile janga kubwa ambalo linakuja mbele yetu otherwise if you remain mr yes yes remember this a man who has been even offered a job in this government but he's saying no he was been appointed he was appointed to a certain board i think but you see he's saying no that means even the possibility of rejecting that job is there he might reject so you see in one way or another ruto was trying to silence him by offering a job opportunity to him that he become a chair of certain board there. Amesema apana, staki yo maneno yako. I rather remain with the Kenyans and I be counted. Na ukele tuliambiwa na hii ilikuwa ni mambo ya, hii ilikuwa ni slogan ya ANC. Kazi ni kazi ya Ruto. Pesa mfukoni ya ANC. Sasa kweli, kazi ni kazi. Lakini pesa ni kwa serekali. Just the way Panako has said it. There's not another better way we can explain this. This is the current situation in this country. 
So people who are with the people, who, who, who are with the poor, the needy, the workers, will never support agenda of this government. They will be the people. This is just the beginning. More people are going to come. And uh, before two years, Ruto will be left with a few individuals standing with him. Because even those members of parliament who are supporting him and his ideas, a point will reach when they will know that they will be facing voters. And before you go to the ballot to ask for the vote, people will be asking and they will be checking you very clear. Very, 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 very clear that how are you voting when those security bills were coming? Did you stand with Ruto or the people? Because if Ruto is bringing impunity uh, bills, then you stand with them, you say to Tapitisha too. Then people will be voting you out. So it will not take long for even the members of parliament to start denouncing themselves and distancing themselves from William Samway Root. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. Thank you and see you in our next video.